alone. At the exact moment that the sun disappeared, we would have no idea, because it takes light from the sun eight minutes and 20 seconds to reach Earth. So for a little over eight minutes after the sun disappeared, we would have no idea. Once we did, confusion and mass panic would most likely ensue. The sun's gravitational grasp on our planet would also take eight minutes and 20 seconds to end. This is because gravity waves propagate at the speed of light. So the very moment we saw our sun disappear, we would also lose its gravitational influence and Earth would fly out in a straight line tangent to wherever it was in its orbit. Well, I thought some doctors would sign on and others wouldn't, but I had no idea of the huge backlash that would ensue. Who's my doctor that calls for total transparency in medicine? Participating doctors voluntarily disclose on a public website not just information about where we went to medical school and what specialty we're in, but also our conflicts of interest. We go beyond the Government Sunshine Act about drug company affiliations, and we talk about how we're paid. Incentives matter. If you go to your doctor because of back pain, you might want to know that he's getting paid $5,000 to perform spine surgery versus $25 to refer you to see a physical therapist. We believe that transparency can be the cure for fear. I had no idea of the huge backlash that would ensue. Within one week of starting Who's My Doctor, Medscape's public forum and several online doctors' communities had thousands of posts about this topic. I find it an evasion of my privacy to disclose where my income comes from. My patients don't disclose their incomes to me. What a crazy new idea, right? But actually, this is not that new of a concept at all. Remember Dr. Sam, my doctor in China with the goofy jokes and the wild hair? Well, she was my doctor. And I carry those words of those doctors with me every single day. We can bridge the disconnect between what doctors do and what patients need. You're in for a sad, sad journey. Having a good sense of humor is critical. It means that you can get back up on the horse and get right back in the game. So if you've been watching for any amount of time, you know that we love to poke fun at ourselves. Why? Because having a sense of humor is critical for survival in both business and life. I don't care how smart you are, how great you think you plan, all that good stuff. Shit is going to go wrong. It is going to smack you upside the head. And if you don't learn how to laugh at yourself, you're in for a sad, sad journey. And uh, he's a total lunatic, amazing person. <laughs> I'm glad he's not here because we can poke fun at him. But he's definitely like, he definitely uh, is like the hero of this, of this you know, film just because of the waves that he, he surfed. But he, um, he can surf anything from two, including houses and everything else. So when this plane landed, you know, and we're, we're unloading our surfboards and they're unloading, you know, reindeer sheds and boxes of meat that they've that hunters have come back and from the island with their with their kill it was it was definitely a unique experience they're looking at us we're looking at them we didn't really know what was happening and pretty much they just told us you know just take your surfboards out throw them down the middle of the plane which if anybody's ever traveled with surfboards like the last thing you want to do it's like fiberglass they're sensitive we're just like shoving them in the middle and the whole plane's vibrating and fiberglass is like flexing and we're like this is super great for you know fire hazard if we need to exit the plane. But we got there in one piece. Um, you don't take a flight here on the reg regular basis. This is a chartered special flight that they just do every once in a while. And it's totally weather dependent. So you have no idea whether you're going to stay and you're going to be able yeah. to leave the day that you want or you're going to be stuck there for two weeks, which totally happens. In fact, while we were there, they had one run that they flew all the way from Dutch over to this island and just couldn't land because the winds were too strong. I never knew him in real life. But our lives are much more than our memories. My grandmother never let me forget his life. My duty was not to allow it to have been in vain. And my lesson was to learn that, yes, history tried to crush us, but we endured. The next piece of the jigsaw is of a boat in the early dawn, slipping silently 